Hi, I'm Kelly Ritchie. Welcome. It is August already. <laughs> it's hard to believe. Uh, this month, I'd like to dive in and look at lead guitar. Um, we can keep learning song after song after song, but everybody wants to play lead. So let's make sure that we're really getting some focus on that as we go. One of the big things that I want to point out for this month is that our right hand is like a paintbrush. And I've got a right hand that it's very fluid. And I use my left hand to mute. My right hand does some muting, but left hand and right hand working together as I create this reckless, you know, kind of wall of sound down here. It's my left hand that's muting and covering for me so I can do a lot of this stuff. And then how do we pull out what we want and not have all of the other strings disrupt? Well, there's all kinds of techniques. If you look in the channel, in the section marked blues guitar for, for intermediate and advanced players, you'll see a whole folder that has tips and tricks, different guitar techniques, hammer-ons, pull-offs, pinch harmonics, slides, bends, the flat tire, using your middle finger, punctuation, octaves. If you've been playing for a while, you might think, ah, hammer-ons, pull-offs, I know those. Take a minute and, and watch through those. I've been playing a long time and I glue things together with a lot of these techniques. And so there might be something that is like, oh, I never thought about doing that with that. Or, hmm. You know, especially if you're in a rut and looking for some things new to add to your playing. Or if you're just starting and you're trying to make these five dots come to life. I'm playing my pentatonics back and forth. I want to play lead. Mm -hmm. If I were to say to you, okay, do you know your pentatonics? Oh, yeah. And then it's like, okay, play them. It's like, okay, hold on a minute. Let me think. <clears throat> when you really know them, to the degree that you don't have to think, that's when they're at that place to where they can come to life. If you really want to be able to use these, put the time into knowing them. Then it starts becoming like really easy. But if you're trying to learn a lot of lead and you don't really have the roadmap, it's just gonna be harder. I like to encourage people to separate practice and play. So when you're practicing, practice those pentatonics. When you're done practicing, then play. But make sure you know the pentatonics because breathing life into the pentatonics, using these tips and tricks, these different techniques, that's, that's all that it is. You know, when I say that's, that's all that it is, you can do so much with one note. You don't have to have a million notes. So keep it simple. Then add feel. Get comfortable. Really connected with your guitar. Let it build from there. So anybody want to uh, play along with a rhythm track and post it? I'd love to see what you're doing. Okay? Let's really focus on lead guitar. Hey, Joe. Leaving it all behind. I went down easy. Those are songs, recent songs that we've worked with. They're all in the key of E. So make sure that you watch those techniques and it's not about studying them. Just, you know, pick one each day and watch it. And it's like, say, okay, I'm, I'm going to look for ways to use that, get myself out of a rut, or I'm going to add that. I've never done that before. You know, I'm going to help breathe some life into these five notes by doing a hammer on, pull off, pinch harmonic. All right, cool. Have a great month. Let's rock. Okay.